Look, I got stripes and we got plaid. It's not orange, like, but I'm I'm in the vicinity. I'm, we have I, to film this thing today. I feel like very summery. Mm -hmm. Yes, we do, because you can't eat anything in this tomorrow. You're eating eggs. Eggs for you tomorrow. <laughs> he looks so miserable. I uh, like eggs, but only just, eggs. You don't like being told what you're going to eat. No, I don't. I don't like being told what I have to eat. You're eating eggs. Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, Two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos and we do product reviews and we talk about various keto topics. And every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. And that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon, and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to what it. What are you dancing for? I was gloating a little bit. I totally screwed up the intro because all I can think about is how you are not looking forward to the egg challenge that we're going to be doing, or egg fast, this week. But today is your day. Today's you, my day. You get to enjoy something this, in this box. Oh, wait a second. I'm going to have to break the egg fast. No. Yeah, because I got to do the box with Anthony when it comes. The keto box. Mm, you'll have to wait. You have to push <sighs> pause on that. Sorry, Charlie. Oh. Joe. Okay, we're going to open up the May edition of the Keto Crate. Now, if you don't know what a Keto Crate is, this is a monthly subscription box that comes in. Um, and there are like 8 to 12 different keto treats in here. What we like about the Keto Crate is you can try things without buying a whole box of them. A lot of times you have to buy like 10 or 12, you know, and this way you get to try one thing and then go, hey, I like that, or no, I would never buy that again. I was thinking maybe we could just have Anthony do the box by himself. Solo no. box. No. He could be Han Solo. No. Okay. Can I get back to this? Yes, go okay. for it. Okay. So if you're interested in the Keto Crate, there is a link down below as well as a coupon code. That will get you some money off of your first box. We are also going to give one of these away at the end of the video. Fun. So the way we do this is we like to uh, open up the box. We're going to go through each thing that's in the box. We're going to go over all of the ingredients. And then we're also going to let you know how much they cost. And then at the end, we like to taste one or two things just to Aww. see. I just realized I don't have my glasses. It looks like a birthday hey, party. Hey, it kind of reminds me of like your little thing, right? Celebration month. Yes. So I love it. Okay. Oh, wow. Right off the bat. So if you watch anything on our channel, um, you know that Anthony loves meat sticks. He loves meat sticks. And he's been sticks. putting out a challenge to keto box. And I keep telling him they're not going to listen to you. They're not listening to you. Because he's like, I want to see that you're listening to me and give me two meat sticks. And last month, Keto Crate gave two meat sticks. And this month, they gave two meat sticks. They're, they're listening so maybe to maybe they're me. listening to they're him. They're trying to win you over, Anthony. So which one are we going to start with? Let's start off with this one. This is from Ooh. Field Trip. Buffalo. This is buffalo style chicken sticks with chicken dried sticks. apples. Nice. Um... Yeah, we're not going to be able to see that because the ingredients are below the <laughs> stick. Looks like you can at least see the um, like the nutritional information. Yeah, I'm just looking in here. Like You really can't see what's in it because it's literally below the stick. I guess we're going to have to do this. Oh, open it up so you can see what's in it. We're going to have to open it up and pull out the meat stick. So I guess we're going to try one of these, right? I guess so. Ugh. Okay. I just don't want to make the decision after I've been done eating it, right? So the ingredients in this are chicken dried apples, sea salt, spices, including red pepper, encapsulated citric acid, cultured celery powder, which is celery powder, sea salt. Then we have paprika, dehydrated garlic, onion powder, encaps enclosed in a beef collagen casing. So those are really clean, clean ingredients. Yeah. Serving size is one stick, 60 calories per stick, 1.5 grams of fat, 10 grams of protein. Nice. That is really good. That's really good. And then we have... How many carbs? Less than one carb. Well, wow. since it's open... Since it's open? I'm excited. Mmm. Yeah. It's a bit chewy. Oh, I'm all about it. I like... 
feeling like I'm eating something. I don't like when it's you- It's got good, good spice. I like it when it's not like a Vienna sausage. No, I don't want a Vienna sausage. But I like my meat sticks tender, but my beef jerky chewy. Is that funny? A little. We'll save this piece for Anthony, because that's really good. That's got a really good flavor. I'm all about that flavor. I don't know if it's, if it's, I taste any apple. I don't taste any apple. I don't think that adding the apple did anything. Price on that is $1.99. That's good. Okay, next up. We've actually had this before. Mm hmm Excuse me, this is pure, organic, sugar-free chocolate drink mix. It's vegan-friendly, made with premium cocoa and gluten-free. So this is a one one serving. So the ingredients are organic cocoa powder, organic erythritol, a glum, gum blend of acacia and xanthan gum, organic sunflower lecithin, organic stevia leaf extract, organic natural flavor. That's kind of funny. What an oxymoron. Organic natural flavor. Well, it's pure organic. That's Anthony, Anthony had a thing about that last month. It bugs me. So eight ounces of milk or an alternative is what you would do to mix this. And each packet has 10 calories, no fat, um, looks like one gram of protein and four total carbs. You've got one uh, fiber and two erythritol. So it's like one net carb if you're doing that. And we actually keep a bag of this. You can get it at Walmart. It's very inexpensive. They're saying 49 cents, but I feel like it comes out even less than that. Yeah. You, it's like five something in Walmart and a big bag of it. And we actually keep it in the RV. It, it makes a great hot chocolate. It it's does. It's great to add to your coffee. We actually really like this stuff. The chocolate syrup. We don't syrup, like the syrup. That's what the I was thinking. The syrup, ugh. No. Anthony tried it and was like, oh my it's, gosh. It's we have a video good. on Anthony trying it. It was not good. It was surprising because they nailed this so hard and then the other the one. The syrup, no, it no, wasn't good at all. Not for us. Okay. Next up. Ketogenic, I'm assuming this is Kiho. Curry in a hurry, savory bite. Oh, wow. I'm interested in it's this. It's a curry, like a... Like something oh. to eat? Yeah, I was interested in this. I wish I had my glasses. A curry bar? So, made with real ingredients. Okay. The first ingredient, prebiotic soluble tapioca fiber, which well, could be good, could be bad. Why did you go out of your way to say made with real ingredients and right. then have that as the first ingredient? Pecans, almonds, almonds macadamias. Where's the curry? Like. I, I'm feeling like, I don't know. We're gonna have to try this one. Yeah. Macadamia, onion flakes. This is like an odd combination of foods. <laughs> this is a cookie I'm not sure I want. Um, then we have cauliflower pearls, spinach, coconut flakes, coconut oil, sea salt, sunflower less. There's a lot going on in this. Cumin, lime, coriander, mustard seed. We have to try it. Uh, cardamom, allspice, chili, rosemary extract. So everything but curry. It actually says curry in a hurry, but I am, am I missing something with my poor eyesight or is there no curry in this? I don't see any curry, but There maybe is it's, no curry in this. Well, I mean, I, you've got cumin and coriander and those are spices that you would but associate not, with curry. I'm thinking curry powder. I want curry powder. Yeah. Okay. They're not calling it keto. They're calling it keho. No, but it's ketogenic on the top. I know. It says ketogenic. But I feel like they're skirting that at okay. least. Okay. It's just a very interesting combination of foods. It is. Uh, 200 calories per bar, 17 grams of fat, 5 grams of protein, 15 total carbohydrates, uh, 11 total fibers. Ooh, I don't like it when it's got a lot of fiber in the carbs. And no sugar alcohol. So it's four net carbs. We will try this. Five grams of protein too. Weren't you expecting to have a ton of protein in it? Well, it's got some very high fat nuts. It's so like it's like soup in a bag. Other than the soluble tapioca fiber, which is gonna be all the sweetener, that's why I'm not like super keen on it, because there's no sweeteners in there. So the sweetener is coming from soluble tapioca fiber, and I don't like that's where you play the fiber game. Wow. So it's probably gonna be sweet, but it's an interesting like set of ingredients. Price on these is $5 a bar. This feels like something, you know, your grandma would buy you as like a treat. Here you go. All right, here we go. Good to go. We've had these before. Actually, they're not bad. I find them a little bland. Yeah. But I good mean, unless they've usually. changed, they've always had good ingredients and they are a nice little cookie kind of treat. So this one is strawberry macadamia nut. Okay. It's a soft baked bar. Mm -hmm. There, it's got all, almond flour, inulin, erythritol, macadamia nuts, a vegetable glycerin, apple cider vinegar, ground chia seeds, freeze dried strawberry pieces, natural flavor, sea salt, baking soda, rosemary extract, and mixed 
toast balls uh, for freshness. And every single one of those ingredients I read um, have an asterisk by them that indicate organic. A bar so that's all you have to do. Right. Pure. That's all you have to do. Just put an asterisk like Anthony said and yeah. just say everything's organic. I know. He'll love this. I'll have to show that to him. So the calories are 170 calories per bar, 14 grams of fat, 5 grams of protein, 16 total carbs, 7 grams of fiber. On the five, flour. Yep. 5 grams of erythritol. So uh, let's, what's 16 minus 12? Oh, four net carbs. Four net carbs. So I, like I said, these, for me, they lack a little bit of flavor. They're not like punch you in the face flavor, but they're good ingredients. Yeah. They are sold in a lot of stores and they are like, I've even seen them in gas stations like Wawa. Which is and nice. And they're one of those things for me that if you're out and hey, I just want something. Yeah, this is good. I have no problem grabbing this because I think me the neither. ingredients are pretty good. Uh, listed on the website for $2.99. I know I've seen them cheaper. Oh, rut row. Porking good, I saw, sour cream and onion. I see something on the horizon Well, now. we'll get to that in a minute. Okay. We love porking good. We do. Um, we are not affiliates with them, but we, we do have a coupon code for them. We asked the them like, hey, we love your product. Can you give us a coupon code for our subscribers? Hopefully it still works. If it's not, message us and we will message them. And it's two crazy ketos and it gets you a discount. Again, we make no money off of it. We just think they have really good products because the ingredients in this are pork rinds, which are cooked in pork fat. Yes. Uh, why not? Intended. Right? Uh, then we have non-fat dry milk, onion powder, salt, lactic acid, and parsley flakes. So good ingredients. We use their pork rind crumbs a lot yep. in recipes. 80 calories, 5 grams of fat, 8 grams of protein, 0 total carbohydrates. They have lots of delicious flavors. I love them all. Pepperoni pizza is really good. Stupid hot is really good, especially- Stupid hot is accurate. If you like like pork rinds, but tend to overeat them, like there's supposed to be three and a half servings in this bag. No, which, there's one. Okay, guys, we love you, but let's three and a half, right. really? Three and a half? Ooh, like, I've got a half love, Can we away. do, how about two? Or four. Yep. I'd rather you raise the calories and tell me there's two in here. Yep. Or lower the calories and tell me there's four. Although nobody's eating four of these, right? Uh, or nobody's dividing this into four Oh, servings. no. Okay, I was going to say. So I'd rather you put a two, it two, but three and a half. If, if, you, if you need it to be like not two or four, let's make it three. But not a half. But not a half. Because who's eating a half? Three and five eighths. Three and five. Let's change it to that. It's all in good fun. No, we really like their products. Really good ingredients. Um, it can be done. Yeah, it can we, be done. We can make pork rinds with good ingredients. Driving home from New York, I just wanted some pork rinds to have as a crunch with what we were eating. And I picked up salt and vinegar ones. And they were good. I mean, they were in a gas station. But they we'll put maltodextrin in them. And this company's figured out how to do it without maltodextrin. Yeah. Oh, what I was saying about stupid hot, if you're like me or Rachel and you tend to overeat pork rinds, like this is one serving, Ooh. try the stupid hot because you're not going to eat an entire bag in a sitting. No, you'll be all sweaty. $3 a bag without our coupon. There you go. Oh, you love these. <gasps> Keto Farms. I do love them. So this is the maple candied pecans or pecans, however you say it. Pecan. These are really delicious. Okay, so let's see what's in them. Pecans. Natural sweetener, which so. is right, a mixture of erythritol and monk fruit extract. There's salt, natural maple flavor with other natural flavors, vanilla extract, and cinnamon. So not for our friend Christopher, because mm -hmm. cinnamon. Yep. Um, all right, so a package is 150 calories, 16 grams of fat, two grams of protein, 10 total carbs, two from dietary fiber, and seven erythritol. So you're looking at what? One net carb per serving. Yeah, we love the guys over at Keto Farms. They make a really good product. I actually like the savory ones over the sweet ones. But these are a delicious but treat. But they're really good ingredients. If you miss things like, I mean, oh my gosh, we stopped at Bucky's and Bucky's the has smell. those smell. Because they're making all of candied those like nuts. candied nuts and stuff. This, this is really good. And you're not going to know that you're not eating like real sugar. That no. It's really, it's they, really, they've nailed it. They've nailed it. They have a perfect blend of those two. Sell them on sweeters. Amazon. I'll leave a link down below. Pricing them is $2. They're always on sale on Amazon. Really good. Okay. Let's see. What is this? Aww. Snack House Keto, Keto cereal. cereal. I like this. I, I'm, I'm telling you right now. I like the package because, again, I'm all about portion, especially when it comes to keto cereals. I Help need a portion me. control. Help myself. Help me. Help me. So the ingredients in this are milk protein isolate, then allulose, 
sustainably sourced, saw, sourced palm kernel oil. I'm okay with that. That's like having coconut oil. Okay. So long as it's sustainably sourced because sometimes they kill the trees to yeah. get it. Whey protein concentrate, non-fat milk, vanilla, natural flavors, stevia, monk fruit, sunflower lecithin, salt, yellow number five, blue number one, red number 40. Okay, I'm really good with the ingredients until we get to colors. And I know everybody eats visually, but I'd rather you not have the colors. Juice. But I'm I'm, re I'm good with the rest of the ingredients. Mm -hmm. At least that's the end. This is the Fruity Pebbles cereal. Go ahead and have two bowls. Fruity Rubbles. Fruity Rubbles. Because you got to get around yep. the pebbles. One package is 115 calories, 5 grams of fat, 7 grams of allulose, uh, 15 grams of protein, so higher in protein, 8 total carbohydrates with 7 allulose. So one net carb. So yeah. like, I'm good with that. I'm, I'm, I'm interested, interested to in see this. how it tastes because sometimes allulose is not, it's just not, doesn't get it sweet. Yeah. But that's good because I don't want it overly sweet because then I overdo it's it. It's cereal. Yeah. It's cereal. Price on these, $2.99. I'm really interested in this one. Let's put that off to the side. Usually. We're going to be trying that. Yeah. Usually when it comes to cereal, I usually either eat it dry or eat it as an ice cream topper. There you go. Oh, Monk Pack. We've had these before. Keto Granola Bar. Oh, look at this little cute little chipmunk. I love it. All right, so the ingredients for this are peanuts, almonds, allulose, peanut butter, sunflower seeds, coconut soluble tapioca fiber, flax seeds, vegetable glycerin, sea salt, natural flavor, mixed toferols for freshness, sunflower lecithin, and monk fruit extract. I love how it says allulose is a sweetener found naturally in small amounts in maple syrup, figs, and raisins. Our source is produced from non-GMO corn. Yep. Allulose has virtually no impact on blood sugar and That's insulin. True. Kind of interesting. Actually, that broke that allulose out. can actually lower. It's been known to lower blood sugar in some people. So uh, 140 calories per bar, 12 grams of fat, 5 grams of protein, 12 total carbs, 4 dietary fiber. And let's see. Where is their allulose breakdown? It, it winds up being 1 gram of sugar and 2 net carbs. So. Yeah, so one thing about allulose is they're, they, they're not oh, allowed to is. put it as a sugar alcohol. So you always have to look somewhere on the package for there's going to be a breakdown of how much yeah. allulose. So they've got 12 total carbs, 4 fiber, 5.5 grams of allulose, and 0.5 grams of glycerin for a total of 2 net carbs. Glycerin is a sugar alcohol. So here's what, we've had these before. I actually think they're really good and they have good ingredients. And notice... They they're do sticky. have the tapioca fiber, uh, but it's way down on the bottom of the list and they're doing it right. They're not playing that fiber game. There's only five grams of fiber in there. Yeah. Like, it's a much better product as opposed to some of the other things where they lead with fiber and they're using that to sweeten it. 47 total carbs. They're using this tapioca fiber to kind of form it into a bar and maybe offset of the allulose just a little bit. Yeah. Price on those is $2 a bar. Super fat. Super fat. Keto cookie bites. I don't think we've tried this flavor. Double dark either. chocolate chip. Yum. Okay, the ingredients in this are almond, erythritol, cocoa powder, uh, butter, pasteurized sweet cream, chocolate, uh, chocolate chips, which is unsweetened chocolate, erythritol, cocoa butter, stevia extract, sunflower lecithin. Then we have coconut oil, water, acacia gum, eggs, hydrologized collagen, almond, uh, arrowroot flour. Okay. Uh, baking soda, vanilla extract, guar gum, tapioca fiber, psyllium husk powder, salt, soluble tapioca fiber, stevia. Uh, so there's uh, two servings in a package. I like the breakdown. Uh, yeah, they do break it down you per serving or the whole bag. So I generally don't eat the whole bag in a sitting. I would eat a half a bag. That's generous. Uh, these are a little bit bigger than like the uh, high keys. They're yeah. a little bit bigger. They're crunchy though. 130 calories per serving, 12 grams of fat. Four grams of protein, 12 total carbohydrates, three grams of dietary fiber, one, uh, uh, six grams of sugar alcohol. So that makes it three net carbs per serving. These are really good. We actually have a link for them down below. Yeah. And we will put that down there. And the price on these before our coupon is $4.99 a bag. Nice. There you go. I'm impressed with this box oh, so far. Oh, intact. We love intact. So this is the crunchy cheese. It's like, you know, dried cheese, kind of mm. like a cheese with a uh, whisk. Yep. Um, Mediterranean mix is the flavor. We've never, I don't think we've had the Mediterranean one. Nope. So the ingredients in these are mature semi-hard cheese and you got milk, salt, egg, 
enzymes, cheese culture. Oh, that's what's breaking up. That's what's making up the cheese. Then you have tomato powder, basil, oregano, and salt. They do it right. Yep. The cleanest of ingredients. It's got a unique um, flavor. You almost have to add salt to it. I do find that you need to add salt to them. But here's the thing. We actually got process. to meet the owners when we were at KetoCon a couple years ago. And he said the reason that is is because of the way they actually dry the cheese. A lot of the cheeses that are out there, like the wisps and stuff like yeah. that, the way they do it, they end up with a high salt concentrate, which I do find some of them to be very, very salty. Mm -hmm. Whereas they're drying, there's different, so it's more natural. So um, you do sometimes, if, you, if you're if you like me and you like salt, you want to add salt, but I think they have a really good flavor it and is. I really enjoy them. And he is hunting family farms yeah. in order to make to get the milk for, for his cheese. So I, I think that's awesome. So there's two servings in a container, 80 calories per serving, six grams of fat, five grams of protein, less than one total carb per serving. And a serving size is 18 to 20 pieces, which $3 is super generous. $3.99 a bag. I, Love them. I, I don't know how I somehow didn't realize you hadn't read that yet. Smart cake. Smart cake. Ooh, vanilla latte. We I haven't had this one in a long time. I know. Um, okay. So the ingredients in these are eggs. Then we have uh, purified water, proprietary fiber blend, which is oat fiber, corn fiber, and flax. Erythritol, whey protein isolate, olive oil, vanilla, cinnamon, ground coffee. Um, below the fold here. Then we have uh, a gum, which kind of gum is that? Can cellulose I gum. Cellulose okay. gum, monk fruit extract, and citric extract. Um, we really like these. We love smart They are cakes. really good. They are the reason though that I do do a at least a net carb slash total carb protocol because see one of these cakes, and let's face it, I'm eating two unless of Rachel's course. around. So one of these cakes is 38 calories, 2.5 grams of fat, four grams of protein, with nine total carbohydrates, five grams of dietary fiber, and four erythritol, which makes it zero net carbs. But again, let's face it, I'm eating both of these unless Rachel's around, which makes it 76 calories and 18 total carbs, but zero net carbs. I could easily, 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 easily eat 10 packages of these. They're so cute and adorable and they're very tasty. And if you have a, in your mind that there's zero net carbs, it's like it didn't happen. And 10 of these is only 760 calories. Yeah, seriously. So, you know, that would be lots of protein. That'd be 80 grams of protein. So like I could like just eat these all day. Yeah. But again, like all of those carbohydrates, we whether they're net or not, happening. like, so that's why I put a total carb. People ask us, how do you mean that you could do 200 total carbs and zero net carbs? Just eat a bunch of these. Yeah. So they're so good. They're really good. Great I'm not saying kids. they're bad. I'm just saying like moderation, right? You know what I love is those with some just made keto icing on top oh, of them. Oh, yes. So. Uh, we have a link for them and a coupon code. It's down below. They have Price great on buns. those $3.75. I like their buns, hon. Here you go. This is what I noticed on the screen upcoming when I saw this because remember what we said, we liked the chocolate um, powder drink mix, but the syrup they had was not great. Now this is the spread. Hazelnut spread. All right. It was okay. You and Anthony had it. But it wasn't like, for me, I mean, it just, it isn't worth the carbohydrates and stuff that I'm getting. You're not going to be getting pad and paper and pen and writing home about it. Yeah. So the ingredients are organic vegetable oils and organic fats, which is organic sunflower oil, organic coconut oil, and organic cocoa butter, organic erythritol, organic tapioca fiber. Here's what drives Anthony crazy. Organic hazelnuts, organic cocoa powder, organic flax fl flour, organic gum acacia, organic sunflower lecithin, which is an emulsifier, organic stevia leaf extract, Reb A, organic natural flavors. So a uh, two tablespoons is a serving, 140 calories, 11 grams of fat, three grams of protein, 19 total carbs, seven fiber, and let's see, seven erythritol. So two net carbs per serving. Yeah. So my biggest problem with it, it was okay, but for me, just me, in my journey, I don't find it worth 19 total carbs for two tablespoons of that. Um, some, and the number one ingredient is vegetable oil. Yeah. So I know that that is going to cause gonna, inflammation in my body, but everybody's body is different. But, and if you have a child that's like a huge fan of Nutella. Yeah. And you're, I would rather than have this. I would much rather have this. There's 90% less sugar in this 
than in Nutella. Yeah. So that is a huge difference. Yep. Fat snacks. Fat oh, snacks. price on that nine dollars. Well, Nutella's not cheap. No. So fat snacks. We, we love fat snacks. I love these. We love these. My Rachel, mom loves Rachel those. doesn't eat them because she's eating the whole bag. I in will a sitting. eat the entire bag. I have to hide them because everybody else in the house eats them, and people come over to our house and raid my stockpile, and I have to purchase these. That's right. So um, these are really good. They are almond crackers. They have a few different flavors. The this is the everything flavor. So good. Um, so there is two servings in this container. I can easily eat the whole bag in a sitting, but I try to be pretty good with them. 130 calories per serving, 11 total fat, five protein, eight, uh, six total carbs, three fibers. The ingredients in this is almond flour, egg whites, uh, butter, which is cream cheese, and uh, butter, which is cream. Then we have cream cheese, milk, cream, salt, carob bean gum, cheese culture, we have coconut flour, flax seeds, water, sea salt, xanthan gum, aluminum-free baking powder, garlic, on, uh, onion, sesame seeds, poppy seeds, and rosemary. The cheddar one of those remind me so much of your keto Cheez-Its. Yes, very good. They're really, really good. Yeah, and for the keto, for those, I'd rather have my recipe. I don't make my recipe a lot because I eat the entire You'll sitting. Eat the whole batch. Just like these with me, I open up the whole bag and I eat them. We do have a coupon code and there's a link for these down below. I, I get these all the time. The everything uh, ones. Plus, here's what's good about for me with these is I can only eat a couple because I could never eat these and then Rachel not know I'm eating them. Oh, no. They're very <laughs> crunchy. Well, plus the, the all smell. the everything. So, like, we were on vacation in the RV and, like, we had stopped and I was like, okay, I'm going to so eat a little something. So, I'm going to have a piece of meat stick with a little piece of cheese. This was, like, my lunch and a few of these and I get in the car and Rachel's like... You ate crackers. It's funny. <laughs> Can't like, get away with it. It's funny how sensitive my nose has become since yeah, we've been But on they're keto. really good. I really like these. $4 a piece. We never noticed when we were eating tons of garlic and onions. One more. Ooh, another meat stick. This is like the beef jerky stick. So this is Ayoba Drowers, South African family recipe, traditional meat stick. So this is handcrafted with 100% grass-fed beef, and the ingredients are grass-fed beef, sea salt, vinegar, coriander, water, pepper, rosemary, cloves in a casing. So um, a serving is 90 calories, 2.5 grams of fat, 16 grams of protein. Wow, no carbs. Pretty awesome. I'm impressed. Both meat sticks, sugar no free. sugar. Both sugar meat sticks, no free. sugar. Sugar free. Okay. Um, I want this. Those are 250. What are we trying? We definitely have to try this. Okay. This is too strange Are we to trying try. that beef stick? Yeah, we can eat the beef stick. Okay, so I want to end on sweet. Okay, so you want to start with the beef stick? Or do we want to start with this? No. I, know, I have a feeling this is going to be really sweet. You think? I just want a little piece. Mm. I eat so much beef jerky it's, in the last 10 days. Oh, did you hear that? Snap. That is a snap. Okay, good flavor, too dry for me. Wow. Yeah, that is dry. Now that tastes like curry. And it's just like all spice. Yeah, I mean Is my there tongue. All spice in there. Yeah, my um, my tongue is going numb. Cloves. 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 Good flavor. Too Crunch. dry for me. Crunchy. That's good. Interesting. And the only thing is, I have a little bit of a film on the top of my mouth. Did we there see we how much go. that was? Two yeah, fifty. Two fifty. I have like a okay. film on my tongue. This smells like a side dish for your like steak. Oh my gosh. What is it? Wait, wait, let me smell it again. That smells like a hash brown. It, no, it doesn't. Yes, it does. Smell it again. Smells, that smells like hash browns. It, you know what it smells like? Spinach dip. It smells like cream spinach to me. Hash browns. What's wrong with you? I'm telling you. It's just, it's odd. It's very odd. It's what very off-putting with that color. What's off-putting is the mix of ingredients. I feel like you're going to look like, at it and be like, I'm going to the bathroom later. Guaranteed. <laughs> I'm telling you, this is, this is tater tots. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. It's like eating fish food. That's disgusting. How are you still eating that? Because I used to like... Fish food? No. 
I used to like oniony tater tots. This may have no. the gr greatest ingredients ever. It I does it. The number one ingredient is soluble tapioca fiber. I would not eat this if you have trouble not eating potatoes. This tastes like the French onion tater tots. Now I gotta try it again. I'm telling you. I would not want I, this is not this is not something that's that's gonna help me. I loved potatoes. This does not taste like potatoes. Somebody out there has gotten a keto box too, or keto crate. If you guys try this, let us know down below. If you try this, does it taste like oh. like a tater tot, potato oh. type thing? I'm that, telling it's you. It's so not worth it. I I this would this would make me miss potatoes. Oh my something is wrong with your taste buds. I'm telling you, somebody else is gonna that is disgusting. echo that. That is disgusting. It's a weird mix of ingredients. Like, who wants to eat spinach with macadamia nuts? I mean, and then it's supposed to be sweet, but it's not sweet. I think it tastes good. It's just, I think I would no. be a problem with me. Taste is subjective, but I'm right. Okay, They'll keto cereal. They'll tell us, Joe. Ooh, those are cute. I, I don't know why I was expecting like dipping dot okay. size, but. I'm gonna tell you right off the bat. They're cute. So most of these keto cereals are they're they're like almost like styrofoam. They're balls. These don't feel like styrofoam. They feel almost a little bit softer in my hand. A little bit like not quite as crunchy. More wow. like a cereal. These are really good. This tastes like fruity pebbles. Like fruity pebbles. Or, oh my gosh. No, or like no. Well, I guess there is like no. a Fruity Pebbles fruity taste. Fruity Pebbles. I wanted to say they tasted like Fruit Loops. They taste the same. Fruity Pebbles and Fruit Loops were the same. But be they nailed it. I feel like they taste more like Fruit Loops just because they're so big. They've got a big mouthfeel. Whereas, oh like, my god. Whereas, like you know, Fruity Pebbles are like those little tiny things that get mushy really quick. This is good. This is good. This is really good. They this nailed is, it. They nailed this. Good job, guys. Oh my gosh. That is good. I would absolutely What's bad in here? What is bad? Anything bad in here? Like, Revisited. can I order these? Is this still good? That no. Good. I mean, other than the coloring. So if you don't want coloring. This is really good. Oh my gosh. These are awesome. When you compare oh, this. Oh, we're having ice cream tonight. When you compare this to that Wonder Work cereal that we tried. This is 10 This kicks better. its butt, dude. Like, the this is awesome. Honey? Okay. We love love cereal school. I know a lot of people don't like cereal school. We like We like that. This is the best textured keto cereal I have ever tried in 4 years. Yeah. It's it's like soft with a crunch. A lot of them like they cut your tongue because it's yes. just the protein powder. This is good. I don't know what is it that oh it's got to be the palm kernel oil that it's giving it that soft when it hits your tongue it's soft mm. and the flavor is going all the way through. Wow, those are delicious. This is this is amazing. This was worth getting the keto crate for. Sorry, I'm, as I spit it out, um, because if I just saw this on a shelf at a grocery store, I would pass by it. I would think to myself, "All right, it's no. another WonderWorks type of like." Is that what? Am I even calling it the right name? The other, well, this is from Snack Foods. No, snack but I'm just foods. saying, like the wonder, the one at Walmart. I, I think it was yeah, like WonderWorks, WonderWorks or something. And so I would just pass by this. I would not get this. These are delicious. Because it's and in the keto good ingredients. Crate, because it's in there, I'm gonna try it. And it was, this is a fine. I'm gonna say this was the best keto crate we've had in months. Yep. I mean, other than this disgusting, oh. Ugh. I'm telling you, that is tasty. If you like savory stuff, it's just, I'm telling you, I would just have a hard time with it because of it tasting like a potato. Other than that, French honestly. potato. Okay. For me, the pure syrup, the pure hazelnut spread, not for me, only because it's not worth it for me. But, but it's not bad. But everything I else, try this flavor. everything else in this box is like yes. I don't think we tried the Mediterranean before. Everything else in this box is amazing. This is this is the best box we've had in a while. It's good. Yeah, those are good. You just need salt. Yeah, that's the thing. I don't have any open. Okay. Oh, wait. Mm, hit me. Thanks, Redman. Actually, thanks, Tabitha, because this is the one she started chewing. Yeah, it makes all the difference. Perfect now. Mm hmm. I just put it right down in the bag. Very happy with this one. I'm going to finish the video. Okay. 
If you're interested in winning one of these keto crates, and again, I think this is the best one we've had in a long time. Mm -hmm. All you need to do is subscribe to the channel, hit the like button on this video, leave a comment down below. And you have to live in the United States. Yeah. Okay, so do all of those things. We'll pick a winner. The drawing date's gonna be down below in the description. And uh, what happens is, is they send you out the box. If you message us right away when you win. Might be May. Um, it may be the May box. Sometimes they don't ship you out the, until the next month's box. It depends on when the winner actually gets back to us. Mm -hmm. Okay? Um, but yeah, this was a really good box. Really good. Now, if you like seeing videos like this, check out some of the other videos that we have linked right down there. Also, make sure you take a look at our most recent video, which I'm gonna put right over here. Whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way. Subscribe to our channel and click the little bell icon and that way every single time we find something awesome, yes. you'll be alerted to it. Until next time. Bye. bye.